Hello and welcome to my channel, where I mostly share my love of fragrance and enjoying my collection. In this video, I'll be reviewing Holiday 2023 Body Mist from Victoria's Secret Pink. Thank you so much for stopping by, and let's get started! Victoria's Secret released a few new holiday scents in their pink line, and they don't seem to be giving some of the new pink collections a name. So these are just listed as holiday scents, and I assume they are limited edition. These are available now online, and they should be in stores as well, though last time I checked, they weren't in my local stores. I've already reviewed the pink bubbly holiday collection, as well as the holiday collections on the VS side, and I'll link those videos in the description box if you want to check them out. And if you want to see mini reviews or what's coming up on my channel, you can join me over on Instagram at Claren Bloom. I recently posted a quick review of the new Pink by Pink perfume if you're interested. There are three new holiday scents, and I picked up all of the fragrance mists. Some of these sound a little familiar, so I'm curious to see if they're similar to any past Pink releases. The packaging is similar to the new Core Pink body mists, which I think are kind of plain. These do have a subtle fair aisle print on them, but I miss the really cute holiday bottle designs we used to get from Pink. I'm hoping they'll go back to more decorative bottles at some point. The collection includes Iced Coconut, described as ah, it's a snowy winter morning. Breathe in the fresh air, icy coconut, and indulgent sweet cream. Sparkle Berry, described as red berries and a flash of tinsel evoke juicy holiday cheer. Clinker glass of a bit of bubbly, bright pink pomegranate, and clean white birch. And spiced vanilla, described as fancy a warm fresh baked cookie. This treat smells like sugared vanilla woods, toasty cardamom spice, and delicate coconut flakes. And now let's get on to the reviews. The first scent in the collection is iced coconut, which comes in the cream accented bottle. And this has notes of frozen coconut, chilled air, and sweet cream. And this opens with sweet coconut that feels fresh and light. And the scent does have a sort of cool and airy feeling to it. The sweet cream adds additional sweetness that has a lightly vanilla quality. And it combines with the coconut to produce a creamy cloud of fluffy coconut cream. To me, this is a pretty straightforward scent. It's all sweet, creamy coconut, only with an airy quality that keeps it from feeling heavy. It's really sweet and gourmand, and there's not much else to say about it other than I think it smells delicious. I really like it, but I have to say I don't think this is a unique scent, and I'll get into that next with my comparisons. And my first comparison is Coconut Ice from VS Pink, with notes of frosted coconut and sweet cream. And this has a really strong, creamy coconut, and the sweet cream gives it an added rich and creamy quality. It basically smells like coconut cream with just a hint of spice to it. That's almost like raw vanilla bean. I expected these to be pretty similar given they both have cool coconut and sweet cream with a touch of vanilla. And they are to the point that I think this is practically the same scent. However, there is a slight difference as I always felt that coconut ice had a sharpness to it in the opening that I didn't really like, but it does fade after a little while. Iced coconut doesn't have that at all. It's just sweet and creamy all the way through. The dry downs are pretty much identical, but I think iced coconut is a bit sweeter than coconut ice. So I think they improved the scent profile a bit and I like iced coconut even more. Then I have Bath & Body Works Whipped Coconut Milkshake, which has notes of vanilla ice cream, toasted coconut, and sugared amber. And this is a subtly sweet, fresh coconut scent that has an airiness to it, as well as a bit of creaminess. It also has a soft warmth from the amber and a bit of a toasted, sugary quality. These share sweet coconut and vanilla, but whipped coconut milkshake is warmer and the coconut isn't as fresh and cool, while iced coconut is creamier and a little sweeter. The next scent in the collection is Sparkle Berry, which comes in the red accented bottle. And this has notes of champagne bubbles, pink pomegranate, and white birch. And this opens with bright, bubbly champagne that feels fizzy. It's also very fruity, and the pomegranate is a bit tart, but also has sweetness to it. As it dries, the scent sweetens and gets an almost sugary feel, but the fruit retains some of its sharpness as well. 
And I do pick up on the woodiness, but it's not very strong. It just adds a subtle warmth. To me, this is a fruity scent with tart pomegranate and a sparkling quality. It's sweet and warm. And while it's not very unique, I do think it's a nice scent. It could be a bit sweeter, but I like how it feels sort of fresh and airy while also being fruity and warm. I think it's just pomegranate in here, not mixed berries, but if there is anything else or you're not familiar with pomegranate, it seems to smell most like raspberry. And for comps, first I have Cool and Bright Bubbly from the other Pink Holiday collection. And this has notes of juicy pear, pink pomegranate, and frosted berries. And this is a really fruity scent with the mix of pear, pomegranate, and berries. It's sweet and slightly sugary, but also feels a bit dark. When it's dried down, the berries are most prominent. And after a while, I also get a sort of powdery feel from it. These are both fruity scents with pomegranate, but Cool and Bright Bubbly has the other fruits mixed in, while Sparkle Berry is sweet and effervescent. Then I have Blushing Bubbly from Victoria's Secret, with notes of pink champagne, muddled raspberries, and glowing mimosa. And this is a very bright and bubbly fruity scent with a lot of sugary sweetness. The raspberries kind of smell like mixed berries, and there's a subtle floral note as well. It basically smells like fizzy, sugary fruit punch. These have a similar bubbly, fruity quality, but Blushing Bubbly's fruit is more sugary sweet and has the touch of floral, while Sparkle Berry is more tart and woody and feels airier. The last scent in the collection is Spiced Vanilla, which comes in the pinky brown accented bottle. And this has notes of vanilla woods, cardamom, and coconut flakes. And this opens with spicy cardamom, as well as a warm, sweet vanilla. The coconut feels fresh and adds additional sweetness. And the spice softens a bit as it dries and takes on more of a cinnamon-like quality. And I don't get much woodiness, just a warmth that feels mostly vanillic. To me, this is exactly what the name suggests. A nice spice vanilla with a touch of coconut. Pink often puts out vanilla scents that have pumpkin or heavy spice notes. And I haven't liked a lot of those, but I think that this one is pretty nice. It has a holiday feel with a lot of what smells like cinnamon. And it comes across like sweet gingerbread. But despite the description, I don't think it's very cookie-like. It's more like a gingerbread loaf. If the vanilla had more of a sugary, icing-like quality, that would have been even better. And for comps, first I have Basic Vanilla from VS Pink, with notes of toasted marshmallow and warm chai. And while this is a vanilla scent, the chai brings in a lot of spice, like clove and cinnamon. It actually smells more like gingerbread to me than it does marshmallow, but it is also sweet. These are both vanillas with spice, and they do have a similar gingerbready quality. But basic vanilla is more spicy, while spiced vanilla is warmer. You would think, based on the notes, that it would be opposite. But I think spiced vanilla is softer and more vanillic. Next is Warm Vanilla from the Pink Fall Collection, which has notes of shaved cinnamon, pumpkin cream, and marshmallow fluff. And this is a creamy pumpkin scent with spicy cinnamon and a hint of vanilla. There is a bit of marshmallow, but I don't get a lot of it, and it seems to add an additional vanillic sweetness. While these don't share notes, they both have vanilla and spice, but Warm Vanilla is more spicy with the added pumpkin, and it doesn't feel as vanillic as spiced vanilla. If you want a softer option, I'd recommend Spice Vanilla over Warm Vanilla. Then I have Vanilla from the Pink Hygiene line, and this is the same as what used to be called Cocoa Vanilla. And these don't list fragrance notes, but this is a warm, spicy vanilla with some added creamy coconut. There's a bit of fruitiness on top of the coconut, and the vanilla feels more like raw vanilla than a sugary sweet one. I actually don't feel like vanilla is really the star of this scent because the coconut is quite prominent. These both have vanilla and coconut, but the vanilla scent is sweeter and more coconutty and is missing the warm spiciness of spice vanilla. Overall, I do actually like this collection. I think all of the scents are nice, even though there are similarities to other pink scents. However, I am still disappointed by the packaging and lack of a collection theme, and I miss the more whimsical holiday feel. If I had to rank these, Sparkleberry would probably be at the bottom, but not by much because I do like it. 
It's sweet and bubbly and fruity, and it has a nice woody warmth, but it's just not very unique, and I wish it were a bit sweeter. In the middle would be spiced vanilla, which is a bit surprising as I don't often love vanilla scents from pink. I like how the combination of vanilla and spice take on a sort of gingerbread quality, but again, I wish it were a little sweeter. And that leaves iced coconut as my favorite. It's sweet and airy coconut cream with vanilla, and I think it smells really delicious. I do think it's basically a repromote, but I feel like they made it better, so I don't really mind. As far as strength, these all seem good for VS Pink Mists. None of them felt especially light, but I'd say the softest is Sparkle Berry. Spice Vanilla and Iced Coconut both seem pretty long-lasting, with Spice Vanilla being a bit stronger. So that's it for my review of the 2023 Holiday Body Mist from VS Pink. Let me know what you think of these scents and if you're going to give any of them a try. I think this wraps up all of the larger holiday collections from Victoria's Secret for the year. I still have a couple of standalone scents to review, and I hope to do that soon. Thank you for watching. I hope that you'll subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.